Yeah, I'm Mark with Omni Labs, and today we're going to be testing the glass transition temperature of various PETG and PLA filaments. We're going to be using this convection toaster oven uh, and some IR sense temperature sensors to measure the temperature at which these specimens begin to form. Now, these specimens we made are one centimeter by ten centimeters by three millimeters. And we're going to be adding these 400 gram steel blocks to the top of them to show when the plastic has, has softened. And uh, let's get started. All right, this is a PLA glass transition temperature test of Hatchbox PLA, Proto Paradigm Advanced NGO PLA, Proto Paradigm Quick Draw Tough PLA, and Maker Geeks High Temp PLA. All right, so we're going to slowly increase the temperature of the oven. So according to our infrared camera, uh, you can see the uh, weights we added are a little cooler, but the strips are approaching uh, about 50 C. And we're using uh, the convection uh, setting in the oven to circulate the air evenly across the oven. So it appears that Maker Geeks High Temp PLA, which I was figuring would be the hardest contender here, is actually the first to uh, begin to yield here. They are approximately 50C now. Yeah, they're all about 50C. Uh, so we're going to bump up the temperature a bit more. Oh, it looks like the Hatchbox PLA fell. So it looks like the Proto Paradigm Advanced NGO PLA was the next to fall, which kind of caused this, the other one to fall. So although the Maker Geeks was the first to show deformation, it looks like it's a little bit more resistant than some of the other brands. So this is Maker Geeks High Temp PLA, which is supposedly dishwasher safe. And uh, assuming dishwashers can go up to a, at least 100 C with steaming and boiling water, um, is a little bit disconcerting that it would be, your part will be flexing um, in the dishwasher at only 55 to 60 C. And we're now at about 65 in some areas there. Oh, and I think there it goes. Yep. All right, well that concludes the test. This is the glass transition temperature test for six different PETG filaments for 3D printing. We have Hobby King PETG, Maker Geeks, Orb Polymer, Atomic, uh, an eSun in black and white to see if there's a difference um, in whether the color of uh, the filament affects its glass transition temperature. All right, they're currently at about 72 degrees C. Temperature coming out of the convection is about 75, so I'm expecting them to start warping around this temperature. All right, it looks like the atomic PTG and maybe some others are starting to warp. It's about at 75 degrees C. And uh, the atomic was the first to fail. You can see there's the warping for it. So I can see significant uh, warping in orb polymer in the Hobby King. Um, there's some in the eSun, and the Maker Geeks has some as well, especially in the back. The temperature in the oven is approaching 80 C. It does seem that the white eSun PTG 
technology is warping a little less than the black. So it appears the Hobby King shows significant signs of warping. I'm going to remove it before it falls. The Orb Palmer as well. Unfortunately, the video cut out here at the end, but the eSun and Maker Geeks PTG both showed major deformation at just over 80 degrees C. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new today.